<laughs> anyway, I have on the phone now someone named Ash. What another great name, Ash. I've never heard that name well, before. You, know, you got it now. Okay, Ash. thank you, Frank. Ash is on the line. Okay, how are you tonight, Ash? I'm good. How are you doing? Thank I, you. I'm good. Did you? Did you? That name is just very unusual. Is that a certain nationality, or is it a name you gave yourself, or what? That's just a name my parents gave me. It's, I, I don't think there's any um, ethnic origin, so. Huh. Very interesting. It's nice to be unusual. I had a very common name, you know, Jan. There are a lot of Jans on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so now, well, so what's going on? I'm happy there's Jan Spiller. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'm happy to be here and sharing with you all. Now, <laughs> now, w what's going on with you in your life? What What are you experiencing these days? Um, I'm just, in, I'm interesting, I'm having an interesting possible relationship, and I wanted to find out if Lamar and I are compatible. Okay. And, and, um, just going through some major transitions in my life, and met this really interesting person that I'm, I'm really drawn to. Is so. it, that's Lamar that you're really drawn to? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. So, I want to know if there's anything you see in, in the chart, in the stars. Well, first of all, your own personal chart, um, I, I want to ask you about a time period that was pretty recent, okay? And I mm -hmm. want to ask you what happened, because this is going to have a lot to do with Lamar. Um, okay. I, let's see. Did you meet him, or what happened in your life between the 12th of August? Well, that's this year, 2010. It hasn't happened yet. Um well, so hold on, I got to give you one that happened in the past so that you can tell me. Okay, what happened between November 2009, between the 18th of November 2009, and the end of November? Do you remember that around Thanksgiving? Yeah, I was traveling a lot. Um, I got a grant to travel, and I was traveling a lot internationally, and I met somebody, but it wasn't. He definitely was not compatible with me. Okay, but you um, did meet somebody then. Yes, I, um, I met him. Um, yeah, at the be I met him right before that, like okay. at the beginning of November. Like, yeah, I was traveling around that time. And that was so. a time when the relationship got difficult, or what? Yeah, that person was not compatible with me, and then I saw my ex-boyfriend that I hadn't seen in years, and I saw why we're exes. And he's also a Scorpio, like Lamar. Okay, well, you're going to get some more lessons around that, and it may be with Lamar between the 13th of August up to and including the 21st of August of this year. Really? So, yeah, so I would say this might be perfectly fine, but I would I would wait and see what happens during that time period because you're going to find out more about him. Now, the reality here, Ash, just between you and me, uh -huh. is that when you listen to your gut instincts, you really know who the other person is. Yeah. So yeah. Had, what do your gut instincts tell you about Lamar? They tell me he's a good person, but he has a lot of issues. But he's somebody who's been who's divorced and is guarded, very guard, guarded. And but he's a good person. Okay, I, he's I very, like very. He's, what did you say? Very guarded. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel like he's. Um, I feel like it's, there's been some games played, but that's what Scorpios do a lot. So, but I, I get the feeling that he's a very good person. That there's a reason he's in my life. I don't know if it's romantic or not. I feel romantic feelings towards him. Uh huh. But, um, but I mean, I feel like he's a person who's very withdrawn, and yeah, um, he, he's somebody who's hard to get to know. Mm hmm. Well, I would. Uh, what I would say is, he he definitely, you know, connects with. He, he, it's like there's there's part of him that makes you think of a soulmate. So I would, mm -hmm. I would, yeah. yeah. So I would let him know how you feel about things and find out more about who he is. Because, you know, his moon's in, in Gemini, Venus and Sag. It doesn't look to me like a settling down kind of a guy, unless he's really <laughs> ready for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I, could, I didn't know the exact first time. He didn't know the exact first time. But, yeah. like, I... Yeah, it's, I thought, this is so going like, to be... Was, this is true no matter of the time. What's that? I, started, I was saying, like, when I saw the Sagittarius, I was like, oh, God, no. You know? <laughs> Well, they have a certain sense of adventure, which is okay, you know, with some combinations. But in your case, you know, you know, your moon is in, is in, you know, you like a partnership. Your moon's in Pisces. So, you know, you don't, all this gallivanting around is, is kind of threatening to you. Also, emotionally this lifetime, you're really wanting to have a partner. Someone over the yeah. long haul. 
Yes, I really, I do. I do. I just don't know where he stands on that, you know. Why don't you ask him? Let him know that that's what you feel and find out how he feels, what he wants for his own life. You need to know yeah. more. Yeah. You, to make right decisions with romance in your life, you need to start really focusing on learning more about the other person. You already know how to charge ahead and create stuff. You, hey, you're willing to take charge and make something happen. But the idea is, who are you making it happen with? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you need to find out first to hesitate a second. Step back from your ability to manifest. You you can you can manifest anything. You have strong, you know, abilities that way. Step back from your ability to take responsibility and manifest things, and first find out who the other person is and how you feel about what's important to them. If he says it's important for him to be in an open relationship, how do you feel about that? <laughs> so you need that, that wouldn't work. Yeah, but see, you need more information on who the other on who Lamar is. But from what you can, what you see in our chart, do you think that we have potential to be compatible? Um, I definitely see some mutual excitement, compatibility here. There's some. I, he's not necessarily a good influence on your money. It doesn't look like, but in some way, he's a good influence in teaching you about soulmate relationships. Mm hmm. And I think he probably felt attracted before you did even. So let let him teach you. Find out who this other person is. Okay. You know, in other words, you're going to have to set aside your natural tendency to impulsiveness. Yeah, I just I want to make sure that he's even worth his time, you know. Thank you. Right. That's exactly right. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I know what my vibration feels, but I didn't know if in the stars if, if it was staying. Because, I mean, I'm used to Scorpios who are possessive. Mm -hmm. And this is a Scorpio who's like... So he's like a little detached, and I, I, I thought it was maybe had something to do with his Sagittarius. In his, uh, is it his Mars that's Sagittarius? Is it? It's his Venus. Well, he has Venus, Venus Neptune, and uh, Jupiter. So, you know, ask him those questions. Find out from his point of view how he sees himself. Mm -hmm. You know, that's your big quest this lifetime, is to learn more about who other people are instead of projecting who you are onto them. Oh, that's what you see is possibly happening? Yeah, that's what I see as what? That's what you see is possibly happening now? Yes, I do. I do. And I see that as a consistent theme in your life. 